Hello and welcome to Let's Play Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for PC with Apollo as my co-pilot. Um, before I begin, this game basically defines my childhood, so lots of nostalgia involved, but uh, yeah, I'll try to keep that to a minimum. <laughs> anyway, um, I am playing this on a Windows 7. I know that a lot of people have had issues with Windows 7, and I had them too, where tracing spells um, is basically impossible. If you're having that problem, feel, f feel free to send me a message because I did figure out how to fix it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I have a save game here from previously. There but was nothing about the starry sky that <coughs> night to suggest we'll start that a new strange game. and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Uh, don't While mind the weird sound. Bag, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713. Mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from platform nine and three quarters. I think our and narrator's left the drowning. World far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, this the corridor ever. on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Yay! Alright. That's the end of the little introduction story. Now we get cutscenes. When I was little, I used to try and make it so the people would get stuck, stuck running through the doorway. I don't remember how it did it. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your head. Nice master. glasses, Dumbledore. No, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. So search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of Fire crabs. Oh my. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Yes, sir. Okay. We have control. We can cast spells and jump, and that's basically it. Um, I'm going to use the keyboard because I'm more comfortable with that than the mouse, but I always love how Dumbledore goes over here and stands in this weird sort of leg spread pose and he happens to say one of the best things that I've ever heard where is it? First no, 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 come on. on the third floor, Mr. Potter. Say it, Dumbledore. Off you go. Have you tried, Harry? Yes. You'll never know where these corridors lead unless you explore them. Off you trot, Harry. Sometimes I actually tell that to people that aren't named Harry just because I think it's so funny. Anyway, let's go up here. Hey, Harry! Remember me? I only met you five minutes ago. Ron is drowning too. Oh dear. Okay. 
Yeah, my disc is kind of old, so there's probably going to be some weird stuff going on. Hopefully not too much, though. I played through most of this game, and it wasn't so bad, so... Follow me, Harry! Yeah, I know. I know, I'm supposed to... Ooh, ghosts disappearing into the wall. Okay. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first I don't think it's that complicated. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in defense against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. Thank you for leading me around one corner, Ron. You are ever so helpful. <clears throat> We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Uh, yeah, I don't... Usually later in the game, portraits that look like that tend to hide secret passageways, but we don't actually have the spell to open those yet, so... No point wandering around. Okay. Let's go get these beans. Up, Harry. There we go. Okay. Beans, beans, beans. Lots of beans. Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. Okay. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll yeah. take the shortcut and meet you there. It's not always that nice later on. To jump. Press control key or right mouse button. You can select auto jump from the options menu. I don't think it, I don't remember if I have auto jump on or not. Let's see. Yes, I do. It there's one part in the game where it won't actually jump you far enough, so I'm probably not going to be relying on it. I'm just going down for kicks. I don't think there's really much of interest down here though. Yeah, let's go back up. Okay. Up the staircase. You guys didn't see that. There was a ghost head flying through the floor. Always fun. Alright. Now, uh, when I was little, I discovered that... Well, I won't spoil anything, but jumping here avoids damage. As <laughs> otherwise Peeves kicks you in the head. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. Okay, thank you for the advice. Alright, now let's go get this bean. Okay. Peeves is staring me down over there. Don't worry. Yeah, I know. Better watch out for you indeed. Alright, touching Peeves here deals damage, but he's really pretty easy to avoid. He just kind of goes in a circle. Alright, goodbye, Peeves. You'll get in the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you'll find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Okay. Chocolate fogs boost your I energy. already figured that out. Dirty bots every flavor of beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Yes, Come sir. Come see us, and we'll show you the Sirs. way to class. Okay. Hopefully I won't be late. So that would be pretty terrible. <laughs> Beans, beans, let's collect the beans. Collecting beans, and ghosts are flying through me. It's kind of funny, if you jump right before he tries to grab a ledge, he does that weird thing where he kind of flies in the air. Like this. <laughs> oh, Harry, Harry. Alright. Let's get some more beans here. Up. Up. I'm gonna avoid the chocolate frog for now. Can pick it up later. Although I don't think I'm gonna need it. Up. Alright, there should be two more over here, and then I think that's it for this room. Yeah. That's more than enough, though. Let's go talk to... I think we talked to Fred. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some... 
experiments. I'm sure you do. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Yay, wizard card. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. To view wizard cards. Press escape and then click folio magi. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, basically this, this is the main menu for the game. We've got some fascinating options here. Let's pick up the card. Okay. Harry's walking in the air. <clears throat> and they're chittering about something. Alright, off we go. 